Hello homies and friends, um, I have not made a video in an extremely long time and if I'm being quiet it's because my mother's downstairs and I don't feel like her being like, uh, who are you talking to even though she probably wouldn't, I, I don't know. Anyway, so the point of this video is a sketchbook tour, you probably knew that from the title and I haven't actually looked at this in like a really long time. Wow, these shadows on my face are not flatter and I look very old right now. I don't know why. Anyway, so... Today's just kind of been a chill day. I'm not really doing anything. I'm bored. Yeah, I mean, I finished some like extra schoolwork I need to catch up on, but anyway, I will show you this sketchbook now, which I did, I did draw on the cover because, well, I can. And uh, yeah, let's get into it, homies. Real quick, guys, I want to show you my little painting that I was working on. It's for, um, my National Art Honor Society. This painting is not that good. I mean, I kind of like it. Like, I like this area, but as soon as I get to the top, uh, ignore that. Also, downloading the 2.7 update. Let's go. Shao's coming back, although I'm probably not going to get him, but that's okay. Anyway, okay, now we're actually going to go through this. I hold it like this because I have some information on the inside in case it gets lost. Just put some jellyfish on there. Everybody knows my email. It's, um, on all of my accounts. Typically it starts off with some goals and then apologies for my raspy voice. I, I don't know why it's like that. I was just having some fun here, I guess. This, this is my like, whenever I start sketchbooks, I don't know what the hell to put in them. So I do like this eye though. And I, this is my friend's house. I'm not very good at that, but I was redesigning this character as well. Her house has a lot of frogs. I took pictures of them and then I drew them. Wow, she's going insane. And I need to redesign her, I think. I think I started on doing that, I'm not sure. That was my friend Rebecca. Strange little comic, I guess. And then I designed my very first ideal guy for like cartoon wise, but I mean, it's, like I said, ideal. It doesn't really mean anything. Just some random characters, I guess. Redesign, I actually redesign her more, like with this. I go on with that. I think I should rename her though, and these two characters I got rid of because they were- This one was kind of copied and then this one was bland. It's like I kind of saw this from the design from something else, and also this is kind of bland and I don't like this, but I changed her up a little way on my next sketchbook. More doodles, Sherlock. I love Sherlock Holmes. I haven't watched that in a while. My boyfriend says that my British accent is a very like BBC British accent, which Makes a lot of sense because that's what I watched. Um, I got rid of this character and this one I got rid of because I have no idea where she came from. This one I think I got rid of her and I just kind of combined her with her. Maybe I don't know. I might redesign her. Don't know what that is or this. Oh, Ryuko Matoi. Um, I haven't watched Kill la Kill in so long, but I genuinely a really good anime. I would say some of the the sexual references. Not a fan, my guy. But uh, other than that part and like the awkward stuff, I think the art style is beautiful and I love this character. She's very aggressive and very hot. Love her. Big fan. And then I was designing a another D D character. The pronouns are she they and they are asexual, but not a they're not arrow ace though. And there I was playing with the designs more. I think this is the I don't know if I did this one or that one first. I think I did this one first. Or I did these practice doodles because I was I saw like reference photos or something and I wanted to practice that. And I designed her in her like little like undergarments. Yep, they're just chilling. And then I tried to draw Callum from the, the Dragon Prince. I'm so excited for the, the new season. I think season four. Uh, I haven't seen that in a while either. Oh, this is one of those I was not having a good day. Um, oh yeah, um... And my character Plumin. Wow, these pages are are falling out. <laughs> oh yeah, stonks. But these are D and D. Like they're different kinds of stats. I think. <laughs> if he was that, it would be very low, much like that. Oh my gosh, a silent voice. I haven't watched that. It is so fucking sad, but it's so good. And I love Shoko. I love her. She's she's such a sweet baby. I tried to do, draw um show you. Could not get that down. And then, I don't know if any of you watch um, Lin Trong's Trong? I don't know exactly how to say your name, I'm so sorry. But I know the first part is Lin, but I love how it's spelled, but she is such a sweetie. Love her, and her videos, definitely check her out. Her vlogs, mm. I'm designing a dagger for Iris, which is the 
the she they asexual i was designing another D, &D character which i haven't used any of them i only only ever used two of the D, D characters that i have designed oops yeah this is when i was in the middle of it and i yeah i was not having a good time but then i made this very happy with that because i saw someone with a haircut like this and i was like oh oh well, i like that for for her oh uh, this is like a like you know when you like put random like watercolor splotches down or something and then you make them into something that's what i did here oh very fun this cat oh this is, i think this is like the first time i had ramen or something i don't know 2020 oh it feels so long ago I do, I like this though. I drew myself before I had bangs. I don't know why they look so cool. I was just drawing random objects from outside. And then 11. Oh my God, season three. Ah! I just watched part one of season four yesterday because it just came out. Um, oof. Ooh, so, ooh, I just really want part two. Miss her to Spotify ad. <laughs> I tried to draw Hopper as well, um, not very epic, and I got rid of this character. I still have her though. I still have Tam. Oh yeah, dots. Don't overthink shit. Need that. Uh, <laughs> this was- this was fun drawing random stuff, and then this character, I really like her. I think she's so cute. I don't quite know what she is. Maybe like some type kind of deer girl. I don't know. That's just color swatches, and then the study, I think. I'm just drawing my characters in here. I think I get them in there and I, I really like Winnie. I think her, I really like her character design that I made for her because like her hair is like wax and I've never done that before. It's like somewhat out of my comfort zone. So it's very fun to do that. Um, don't know what the fuck is going on here. Ignore that. <laughs> um, yes, this is Max from Camp Camp. I think I was like rewatching it at the time. Oof, I love him. He's so sassy. And then one of my characters, OC, same with her. Her mom's hot too. Oh my god, Troll Hunters! This is the first time that I like drew Jin, like Troll Jin, and I actually liked it and it actually looked legit. So that's pretty rad. And then this was like a little study of a photo to try and paint with my gouache. Same with that, I had like excess paint over, so I drew a rain frog. Rain froggy. Oh my god, I totally forgot about these! <laughs> so, they're both 16, or they were at the time, and now they're at least 17 or 18. But some of this is kind of sussy, I didn't really think about it at the time, I was just like, mm, they're so cute together. Some of it's a little too frisky, but um, yeah, some troll hunters fan art because I love them so much, and ooh, Wizards was so good. Um, and the movie, I hated the ending, and I think there's gonna be more, so there better be. But I, I like this page. I think they both turned out really cute. I like this one and that one a lot. Um, as I, uh, James the Passion Man. I'm gonna. Oof. Oh my God, girl! What? The, this is embarrassing. I haven't looked in here in so long. Although this one, this one, hella wholesome. Hella, hella wholesome. Love that. Anyway, these characters, I don't know if I got rid of them or kept them. I think I kept them. I could be wrong though. I want to redesign her. But she's supposed to be their daughter, but I, they have like no place in anywhere in my art and like the story that I kind of want to make. Anyway, they're, they're a very cute couple. And I tried to paint Jim with my gouache. Oh yeah, this was another study of a photo that I found. Oh, and this is that one character's mom that I was talking about usually looks a little bit better than that. Oof. I was not having a good art day. This character- oh, she's gonna get a massive redesign real soon. Cause I did not like her hair. So... Cause it just didn't fit her that well. And then this character, I want to redesign her cause she's supposed to be a pirate. She does look very neat though. I do enjoy her design. Oh, I was drawing stuff in my friend's basement. Crotch boot? Okay. Anyway. I was just drawing stuff from random shapes again. Oh, and this is my D&D character that I designed we were gonna use. And then we never got to play because some people were getting a little a little wild and we're not paying attention. Anyway, yeah, her name is Barry. She's actually quite a bitch, but I like her. 
random character doodles again. I like this drawing of her, but I don't really like her design anymore. That's usually how she is. Yep. I was designing a tattoo. And this is, oh my gosh, I think that's from, oh my god, wait, what is it called? My friend was so obsessed with it for a while. Rebecca, she lo- oh. <laughs> I completely understand. I get, I get obsessed with things all the time. It's always something new. But it's like a D&D podcast by the um, McElroy brothers. Y'all probably know what I'm talking about. Yeah, there's Taco. Taco from TV. Yeah, I... Oh my gosh, and Magnus. Yeah, they're from the, the podcast. Um, Trapta and Hordak. I love them so much. Oh yes, I was very obsessed with them at the time. I just thought they were the cutest. I shipped them so hard, man. They're so cute. I like this little drawing of her. She's so cute. I think she was asking him to kiss her. I think that's why I drew that, but I she's a very hard, hardcore comfort character of mine. I tried to draw them being sweet, but it didn't really work. Ignore that. Ignore that. <laughs> I don't look at that. Don't know what was going on here with me. Uh, where with this? I mean, I like this area, but then oh, oh, that ruined it. Looks pretty decent though. Ah, this was to get get whatever the hell was inside of me out. So I just decided to scribble on here with crayons and colored pencils, apparently, and markers. Comic I made with this character, which I think I got rid of because I she's really boring and I can really think of anything, but I can always revisit her later. I do like this doodle of her though, and I was looking at a reference, that's why I did that. And then this was her like casual outfit, and this was her like sciencey outfit. I like these eyes. Like line of action studies. And then I try to draw like an object because I like never draw objects, but milk. Oh my god, Klaus! I fucking love the Umbrella Academy. I am excited for the new season again too. Also, sauce. I always have the cherry on my head when I play Among Us. I haven't played it very much lately though. Not very popular anymore. Facial expressions, another photo study. Witchy? Yeah, it was October, that's why. I'm gonna draw witchy things. Oh, this is like my witch character. I kept her and I still draw her and she's gonna be a main character in the story that I'm working on. And I also drew a possum. I, I love stealing a pumpkin. Very festive. I was trying to draw another witch character. I think they would have been friends. I might, she might be another character, I'll see. I do like the designs though, I was working on that. I was trying to do some creepy things. Drawings of myself. And then I was gonna redraw something that I did a while ago and then I never finished it. Some naked witches. They're very cute. I think this one's my favorite. I love the, the pose. Yeah, they're so cute. I think I use references as well, but I love the different body types and they're just a lot more realistic. Another photo study, random ass mummy with a with some cake. My house bit, because it's the mummy's house. I'm trying to redraw it more. I don't know what this pose is. I'm trying to draw Rin up there. Oh yeah, I really like, I had this kind of dessert mochi. Rin and Yukio. <laughs> this is for a project for um, a humanities class last sem uh, last school year. I'm about to graduate. <laughs> oh, miraculous ladybug, come on, go, yes. Oh, I love that they're so cute. I, oh, I love so many different shows, man. They're, I'm, I'm so excited, like just, just fucking reveal and kiss already. Like have 5,000 babies and your 17 hamsters on your private island, girl, like do it. Do it. Get into it. <laughs> yeah. And there's that which character I was designing. And then this is for um, a project for NHS that we would paint the characters for a farm sanctuary. And then we would give them the paintings and then they would sell it at an auction. And all that money would help support taking care of these animals. And I got um, this wonderful little pumpkin. What's her name? Wonderful little pig named Pumpkin. There we go. Um, oh yeah, my... It's where I work. I work for Duncan for now. That was my first day. Or second day, I think. No, no, that was his first day. Yeah, that was when we had to wear masks more, but yeah. Duncan. I still work there. Some very interesting drawings. I like the planchette thing. I might, I think this was from my dentist. <laughs> Tattoo design. But I, I think I want that somewhere. I think I want it like on my thigh. And these are like a, this is a lineup of all my D&D characters and they're, they're not even. <laughs> she is the tallest out of all of them. She's the second tallest, third, and then she's excruciatingly short. 
This is inaccurate. That night is not accurate at all. Actually, she, you know, this would make more sense for her, actually, so, yeah, I'll, I'll take it. On some photo studies, I wanted to draw more people of color because I don't really draw them that often, and I want to get to know, like, I want to say, like, proportions, that's not quite the word I'm looking for, but just, like, how their anatomy is a little bit different than, um, white people, as I am, wherever you are from. Wanted to get to know them a bit more since I am white and I do not want to like assume any shapes and then someone be upset about that. But that's not the only reason I'm doing it. I'm also doing it because I should be accurate because otherwise that would be wrong of me and can be considered offensive. I do not wish to offend anybody. And this is me and my friends Rebecca and Jay with like our little elements, like the kind of elements they like the vibes they give off to me. Yeah, that's that's them. They're very cool. Dad friend, mom friend, and then there's me. <laughs> and I wanted them to redraw this with, and like each of them would redraw it, but like with themselves in the middle. But I, I think that it's so cute. I love it. Um, photo studies, and then drew myself in this hoodie that I have. A character, and then, oh, Hecate with a Hecate. I think it's a sniper. I don't know. I don't know. And more photo studies. And then some Studio Ghibli background painting studies that I did. They look pretty accurate to what they were. Um, I don't know why I drew myself a lot. More photo studies to try to study the house. Eh, eh, it's okay. I do you like this doodle of Cheyenne Barton though? Love her videos too. So sweet. Random shit. Again, there's her, and yeah, I redesigned her in my next one, and then I love, I love her so much, she's so cute, I love her big eyes. Very bad Totoro, did not turn out very well. Photo study, apparently that's weed on a spoon, I tried to draw my grandfather and me, <laughs> I was making him something. More froggies, me, and yeah, same, love that. I tried to do a photo study, it looked like Soren from the Dragon Prince, but I love this, and I love the moth, don't know what the fuck this is. Another photo study with some fabric, and I do like that. Try to do another photo study with some paints. Did not like this. The way that this came out actually is kind of cool. Oh yeah, some plans. I'm trying to draw me as like some kind of creature, like what I would want to be. And this is like really close to kind of what I want to look like, but that's not quite it. Which is why I like never really finished it. Oh, here comes the Ian Lightfoot. <laughs> oh my god, because oh, Onward came out, I was absolutely obsessed. I still love the movie, absolutely, but he's he's so cute, he's so adorable. Oh yeah, then I, I did fix this, but then this smudged all over it. Oof. I love this little drawing of him, he's so cute. He's such a little handsome boy. I drew him a bunch. Tired, awkward, like you cut, G. Barley, let's go, I love him. He looks so cute. Oh yeah, I drew a full body, Barley. And more my characters. And then there is the one girl, their hair up. Oh, I did this like thing where I just take some like colored pens and then do like a photo study or whatever. I've drawn way better shoes. That one was very fast. Oh, Nick Carraway, Love Gatsby, so much. Oh, Graham Calloway, Carmen San Diego. He, why does he fucking look like Steve from Stranger Things? He looks exactly like him here. Girl, <laughs> moving on. Oh, this cute. I actually didn't even have a reference for this, but I'm very happy with that and all the little colors that I put around on her. Some chalk pastels. I had to design like a picnic setting. Photo study, because I wanted to study like how muscles work a little bit, and I found that. I tried to get some perspective stuff, I ended up studying this, and just a cute little doodle. Balance of the moons and femininity. I just, I think that's so cute. I wish I did more to it though. I do some bunny studies, some lesbians in action, LIA. I should write LIA here, lesbians in action, let's go. <gasps> Griffin, I love this bizarre. Not a good spot. Character in winter gear, me and my winter stuff and random shit. Oh, my name in Japanese. And there is this girl that I com completely redesigned her and I am so happy. This piece of, uh, I did a complete piece of work on this then digital art and i oh she is so adorable and i love her with all my heart and this one i just made a little collage 
for funsies. I made this and I love it. And I mean, I made all of this, <laughs> but I designed myself as like a character Miraculous, like what Miraculous would I have? And I decided I would have a raccoon one. I decided my name would be Bandit. And this is the design. Love it, love it. Slightly inspired by Star vs. The Forces of Evil, by the way. Adrian! Oh my gosh, radiant, carefree, dreamy. Adrian, the fragrance. <laughs> I love him, he's the sweetest boy. Bunch of marinettes, little transformation marinette. Another Cheyenne Barton. Very cute. Okay, let's hope I have enough storage for this. These were photo studies, and then this was a drawing tutorials online video that I followed, um, of like a graphite study of that. And then some random photo, like, line of action studies, just to get that, and I swear it hurts all a hand to, like, grab my phone the one day, so there's that. Some Kiki's delivery service, yeah, I love her. Drew her, like, a little more grown up. And then there's Barry, and then Kenshin Impact. This is when I'm starting to get obsessed. There's Diluc and Kaya. I love them with all of my hearts. And I honestly, I ship them. And before someone comes at me, he's like, oh my god, they're brothers. Bitch, they're not even fucking related. They just randomly were like, you know what? We're gonna take this kid in and then you can live with us. And they've been, they were super close when they were little. If you look into the fucking backstory, you will see it all there. I did some thorough research because I did, I do not support like people that are related being relationships i forget what that's fucking called so yeah they're my my boys love this love that one but i think i think d luke looks the best in those ones kaya drinking it up as you should and then a little comic you can pause to look at it if you want i didn't finish it then and try to draw a shout not it to the Asian market for the first time, and there's that character which I renamed Hero Child and Zhang Li. And then I love, I love this. Oh, it turned out so good. I love it so much. They look so cute. It was like the first time I ever drew, drew people kissing. Oh, things are getting frisky. I do like, I do like these though. They're very cute. This, this fits his vibe. Get it, Kaya. I drew a little Hu Tao as well, and then this character that I did. Some Lumine, trying to draw Venti, some Shows, and then a little goodbye, Master Dilik Rodden Vinja. I have, I speak German, so I kind of have to pronounce it like that. Oh, Taco from TV, this was Rebecca. There's little me, and then some random shit that I just kind of stuck in here. These are my character names, and I have a lot less now. But, um, yeah, sorry for rushing the last bit, I just don't know how much storage I have left. I use the back for a tester. That is sketchbook 9, and I really hope y'all enjoyed. So this is, this is my 10th sketchbook. I want to give you guys a little sneak peek. Thought that was sketchbook, and I love the texture. And then, uh, sticker from you tripled, and then I forget the other ones who made them, I'm so sorry. Um, this is from the person who made Ava's Demon comic, I'm not sure if any of you know. Let's see how long I've been working in this for. That's my information. Since it's 4.21. Yeah, um, we're getting to that time again. And there's goals again. I'll just quickly go through this. But yeah, this is my new sketchbook. And I absolutely adore the size of it. It's bigger than the last one. But it's smaller than all of my other bigger ones. And simply just a very nice size. Just kind of like shoved all my characters in here. Made some fan art. Some very nice little things. This is my friend Annabelle's um, Miraculous Ladybug. It's the new season. Just caught up in all that. Um, hand studies, raccoon studies. <laughs> Some little fun stuff. The Illuminae series. So fucking good. And I drew these are like four characters from there. And yes, a goldfish is a character. And then from the new season of Stranger Things. I'm not gonna tell you who this is because it's spoilers but i oh yeah but anyway i really hope you guys enjoyed this little tour and i really hope to bring out some more videos soon because i will have some big life updates bye